Okay, hello everyone, we're back again. This is part three of this Pine Dresses makeover. Uh, we are up to priming, and then later this afternoon, I'm hoping you get the first coat of paint on as well. So, <clears throat> um, if you haven't caught our previous couple of videos, there was a couple on Friday for part one, um, and then one this morning as well, where we've, we've blah, 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 sorry, where we have done all of our prep work. When I say we, I mean me, but you guys have helped. Um, <laughs> you're watching, you're helping. Um, so I have just given this a quick sand with my, where did I pop it? With my sander, which is uh, this one over here. I have used my electric orbital sander. Um, this pad is well and truly had it, but it was enough to get all of that filler off that we popped on this morning. Um, sorry, I've just realized my microphone's not actually turned on, although it might have gone flat. I don't know if it's going to work. Don't know. Too bad if it doesn't. Um, I think it's gone flat by the looks of it because it's not, it's not lighting up. And normally it lights up, which is a bit weird. Anyway, um, sorry, don't mind me for a second. Just got to plug my little thing back in. Woo, hang on. Lights. Right, we now have a microphone. Yippee. Okay, so I've used my electric sander to sand off all of our filler. It was just quicker and easier. You can do it by hand, absolutely. Um, it also wipes away really well, so if you've just got a damp cloth, that sort of works really well as well. But we also needed to give this a scruff sand just to help our paint stick. You guys know we love a good scruff sand around here. So... Quick scruff sand all over with my electric sander. It took me less than 10 minutes. I started just after one o'clock. Less than 10 minutes to do. Um, and then I've just given it a quick wipe down just to get rid of the dust. Um, there's a few patches of dust still, but you can see it's looking really good. So some bits have gone back to raw. That's not an issue, but we are now ready to paint. So we're going to prime, but and I've been having this dilemma. What colour do we do? Well, we are a we are at the moment for the last however many weeks very much in a let's use up what we've got phase. So I have got like a centimetre of fossil left. I've got about an inch of cotton left. These are all in silk finish. This, this is pure eco silk finish. Has a built-in top coat. We're using this just because it's easier. I don't have to worry about top coating afterwards. Uh, we have got some Brumby, which is this dark chocolate. So on the TV unit in our last set of lives, um, that was fossil with the Brumby on the top as the stain. We have got an almost full jar. This is cloud. It is in a rust finish bottle because I broke the jar. So we've got an almost full jar of that. We've got... Uh, maybe an inch left of fawn, which is also like a brownie grey. And then I've got a nearly full jar. It's just there. Nearly full jar of snow. I'm not doing snow. But I thought let's – there are colour choices. I don't think – whites always take upwards of three coats. So even if I was to do cloud, which – and I've got nearly a full jar of – I don't quite have enough of any. So I was thinking we'll take this bit of fossil. I do like a creamier um, white or a grey based white over a pure white or a yellow white. I'm thinking we're going to take our fossil and we're going to mix in, I think we'll do some of the cloud, oh, maybe the snow actually, pure white, it's fine. So we're going to mix our colour. Are we going to do that now? No, we're not. I just wanted to talk through our colours first. Let's get our primer on and then we can do this while our primer dries. I've got the heater blasting on it, so it should dry pretty quick. And if we're doing all right, we'll get the primer done and then I'll stop the video and I'll start it again for those of you who like separation between our videos. I did it all in one video one day and I had quite a few messages of people not happy. So... Let's do our primer and then we'll stop and we'll do another video mixing our paint and getting our paint on. But they're our colours, right? So I just wanted to show you sort of what we're thinking. 
what I'm thinking. You guys are now thinking it too. Um, there are colours. Now, primer. I only have a white on the shelf. I don't want to use it. I know that I've got a white at home in one of these big bottles. Unfortunately, it's at home. I don't have a car and my husband's gone to an appointment. So he's useless. Um, so instead, we're going to use the last... I centimeter there's maybe a hundred mil of primer left in here we're going to use that you can thin this down up to 30 percent it is absolutely fine to thin down so that's what we're doing we're going to pop our primer into our tray we've got our tray i do stock these trays they are on our website these are the hundred mil paint trays we're going to be using our oops two fussy bloke roller and handle I don't have any of the handles left in stock, but I do have the rollers in a 3-pack and a 10-pack for those interested. I do have the 50ml size as well. This is 100ml. These rollers will fit onto any 100ml frame. And we've also got, just for this decorative top edge up here, because I'm not going to be able to roll it, I'm going to roll absolutely everything else, we've got our Two Fussy Blokes roll brush. These are like one of my favourite brushes right now. I've been using it a lot. It is the 38ml. Um, so these are the, are they called Aqua Glide Pro or, oh, where's the, no, I can't say the target. Aqua Glide Pro, Glide Pro is what they're called. But that's what we're using. So I'm just going to, I might need to go get a spoon. I'm just going to sit that there for a second. Let me grab a spoon to scoop this out. We're using up what we've got. All right, so we're just going to tip this out and get out as much as we can. And we're going to thin it a little bit with some water so that we get our coverage. Um, remember, primer does not have to be perfect. Your coverage, your coats do not have to be perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, your coats do not have to be perfect at all. We're not looking for perfect coverage. You're just wanting to get it on there. Right, we're going to start with that little pile there. And I'm going to pop some water in my bottle. I've just got my spray bottle. I'm just going to put a little bit in, not too much. It's just going to help it sort of flow down. So there's still a little bit in there, but there's a lot like up on the sides. I'm going to pop my lid on. This lid doesn't fit well at the best of time, so hopefully this doesn't go everywhere, but we'll find out if it does. Yeah. Do that, and I'm going to grab... Takeaway container from lunch, and I'm going to sit that over there where it can't get knocked over. Sit so that if the paint doesn't hold in the lid, it can go on the container, hopefully. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to thin this down. Well, I don't have much water there at all. We're just going to thin it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be much. It's just going to help make sure we've got just enough to do this piece and to help it flow. I'm going to spritz down our roller a little bit as well. Completely up to you. I don't normally do it. Um, don't normally add any water to my primer, but we're working with what we've got. Oh, yes, putting it on the floor is helping. Um, <laughs> we are, oh, hang on. We are working with what we have today. I'm just going to use my spoon and sort of mix that together just a little bit. <clears throat> So this is Pure Eco's Basin Blocker in the colour grey. You can use white or grey underneath your whites. Either either. I haven't really had any issues using either. Completely up to you. I do like to use grey because it does sort of help that transition a little bit more from dark to light. This piece is fairly light in terms of furniture, but sometimes you get those really dark pieces. And I do like using the grey just from that transition if I'm using a, doing a really light colour on there. Right. Clean it up, pop that spoon back in the drawer and we're good to go. All right, so I'm just going to start up the top here. Now, I haven't sanded my top yet, so I'm not too stressed about getting the paint up 
on that section. And we're just very sparing.
So I'll get all this up on our YouTube as well once the series is sort of complete. Um, I'm currently in the process of getting that big sideboard that we put the decoupage on a few weeks ago. Oh gosh, it was like over a month ago now. Nearly two months ago. Um, I'm currently in the process of getting all of those lives up for you all as well. So you can catch up on those. But I'll um, get this one up at some point as well. All right, let's come around the end. Oops, sorry. Moving, moving, moving. To the sand. Where's my paintbrush? Oh, I'm just going to use my paintbrush as well to get into these little cutouts. Always do your little cutouts because you can see them and it always looks weird when they're not painted. <clears throat> and yes, they'll be like right down the floor, but you'll always notice them. I can guarantee there'll be somebody that will notice that they're not done. It just looks nicer when they are all done. Up along the top. Again, I'm only using a brush up here because the roller just would be pointless. Like it's not, you can see what it's doing. It's not going to do anything. So we're using a brush for this top section. take long and we will be able to do our first coat of colour today as well which is exciting so a project like this I think is very very achievable within a day um, if you're experienced if you're not but uh, if you're not give yourself a weekend it's definitely very achievable the probably the hardest part about all of it is sanding back the top um, as long as you've got a good electric sander, you'll be fine. The Ryobi is brilliant. But if you don't, hand sanding it is an option, but you will be there for a while. So just keep that in mind as well. Now the side done. Let's go up the other end. It's already looking better. So I'm just going to lift you up over the chair. Bring you down this end. Don't mind my little mess here. There's a bit of everything here, actually. <laughs> I don't even know what it all is. Um, well, most of it's paint actually. Get that top edge again. Just going to pull it towards me because I am short and cannot reach. So this is now. meant to be here <laughs> oh now you can't see what I'm doing either I don't know why he's here he's meant to be in an appointment jelly slice the other day like you know the old school jelly slices that you get 
You know what I And it was so good. And the gel I used had so much flavor. Thank you. I'll go with that. He's prepared it so I can show you. <laughs> okay, look at that. So much better. So it end, and I've still got a little bit of primer left in there. So I'll scoop that out, put it back in the jar. Hang on. Oh, it's a nasty piece. Look at that. I'm going to enjoy that. <laughs> I might share with the oh, there's kids in the car, so I might share with them. All right, so that is part two. Let me take you off and show you what we're working with. Part two, part three, part two. Um, that's our primer done. So you can see it's a little bit wet. See those shiny patches? That's still where it's wet. But it looks so much better already. Better than the orange. Um, oh, I better do... I'm going to do these... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Facebook. I'm going to do these little bits as well with the brush in a second. But how beautiful are we looking? So I will be back... What is it? It's nearly two o'clock. I'll be back maybe 20 minutes. It's nearly dry. I've got the heater on it. About 20-ish minutes. We're going to mix our colour and we're going to pop a coat of paint on um, of our final colour as well, which I'm very excited about. So I will see you all shortly. Bye, everyone.